Well, what's happening, ladies and gents? We got our Georgia right here, our Georgia cheerleader here. Uh, what's going on? It's the Beast Bailey. It's Georgia, Tennessee, guys. It's, this game is monumental. This game is monumental right now, guys. Uh, yeah, we're headed to go to a little, a little party, <laughs> a little song, song, watch the game. But oh yeah, uh, Georgia, Tennessee. It, this might be the highest ranked matchup in Athens, Georgia, ever. Uh, between number one and three, uh, Georgia has you know obviously played home games as number one against ranked teams. Um, however, I, I fully expect this to be a uh, a matchup of proportions, and um, I expect some some good and some bad to come out of the game. I do expect. Obviously, Tennessee is going to score. That's just facts. They're going to score. I would be shocked if they didn't score much. Um, I'm giving them 30 points. Uh, that's just what it is. Um, you go back to last year, they scored, I think, 17. They had pretty much the exact offense. They had all the receivers. Hinton Hooker was there. Um, Georgia sacked them, I think, five times last year. Uh, Cedric Tillman was the main guy. He had 200 path receiving yards. Jalen Hyatt had, like, 25. I mean... So, you know, obviously different year, different team. Tennessee was 5-5. Five and five. We played them. They're 8-0 right now. So, uh, I like the chances. I like both the chances for Georgia. I just think the home field advantage is the key matchup. It's the key. And Georgia's just a better team. Georgia is a more talented team. And that's why they're favored by 7.5, 8 points, wherever you look. That's why they're favored. It's because they are the better team. That's just the facts, man. That's just the facts. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, something? That's just the facts. They're favored, though. That's why we're favored. We're better than the Tennessee Volunteers, man. Tennessee is still that same 5-5 five and five team from last year. Um, Tennessee, obviously, they beat Alabama. They beat a 52-49. Um... They beat LSU 40 to 13. That's that's the two best wins. But the Florida win, the Pitt win, the Kentucky, uh, not Kentucky, Florida and Pitt win. I mean, you know, those are games that could have went either way. And those two teams are not that great. But uh, Stetson Bennett has to play a solid game. Uh, this, you know, I'm probably going to be ragging on Stetson if he starts making mistakes. Um, However, I uh, hope Stetson plays well. I hope he uh, just I hope he plays well. I just, that's all I want is Stetson to just be him, play with confidence, play with ball security, and uh, just don't make dumb mistakes. Um, this game is also going to be decided in the trenches. I think if if Stetson Bennett doesn't have time in the pocket I don't see Georgia's chance if Hendon Hooker doesn't have time in the pocket I don't like Tennessee's chances so that's just fact I know that's real simple but that's just what it is both these quarterbacks can scramble and move out of the pocket but both these quarterbacks are going to need to throw the ball to win this game Tennessee's not going to win this game running the ball and I don't think Georgia's going to win this game running the ball but I do think Georgia will run the ball with no problems on Tennessee I don't, I don't know if Tennessee can run the ball. Um, Jalen Wright, the running back, uh, I think, yeah. I don't see him running the ball for 150 yards or whatever. I don't see that. Tennessee might have 100 yards rushing as a team at the end of the game, but Georgia might have, you know, 100. I'd say 180 to 220 yards rushing as a team. Um, Georgia ran the ball in this game last year really well. Georgia threw the ball really well. The game was 41-17. to 17. Uh, Tennessee scored a touchdown on their first possession and their last in that game last year. So, it's going to be interesting. It's, it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, number one versus three. Uh, obviously, if Tennessee wins, they pretty much seal a playoff spot unless they lose two of their last three games, then they, they pretty much gave that up. But that's the problem. Is, you, know, you go back to 2016, 
the last time they beat us, they lost to Bandy at the end of the year. They lost to Bandy, man. So it's just like they would have won the East that year, and they might could have gave Bama a, a run, uh, another run. But uh, who did who? Yeah, 2016 Florida. I think it was Florida and Alabama. But anyway, the dogs, 3.30 kickoff, it's uh, 1.25. I haven't watched any football. I've been busy all day. Um, I haven't watched any football. So I know Ohio State's playing Northwestern. Uh, that game's probably 45 to nothing right now. Um, some good games, Notre Dame and uh, Clemson. Uh, that might be a good game. That might be Clemson's loss this year. Let's just be real, folks. That might be the game Clemson drops. That's a hostile environment. Notre Dame blew out Syracuse when Clemson struggled with them. Uh, we'll find out. Notre Dame, obviously, I don't think they're ranked. I don't think they are ranked. No, I don't think they're ranked. Woo! I don't think they're ranked, but still. Uh, just hope they don't, you know. If you're a Clemson fan, you want to win this game. So you don't want to lose to Notre Dame. Same team that lost to they lose to Stanford. They lose to Stanford. And Notre Dame lose to Stanford and Marshall. Man. Got a little rain. Might be, it might be raining in Athens. This might be a rain. If it's raining in Athens, boys, we're gonna see about 300 feet of rushing cars from the dogs. No, but uh, yep, yeah, it's a good game. It's gonna be a good one. Uh, the dogs, obviously, favored. Um, man, I just hope we win the game. I don't care if we win this game 10 to 3, 10 to 7. I just want to win the game. Um, you know, obviously, a lot of people are not really giving Georgia much of a chance just because, and I think really that comes down to Tennessee beating Alabama. I think that's really kind of why they're not giving Georgia. A shot because they've already got that one big, you know, win against the tide. <clears throat> but I don't see Tennessee scoring 50 points unless the team gave up. But uh, yeah, I don't see 50 points. I, I see Tennessee scoring 35. I, I could see that, maybe even 38. But 38 is really the max that I'm gonna go. Uh, <clears throat> I just don't see anything over 38. I don't see it. Um, if you go back to the last three games Georgia has lost, the score was the exact same every single time. Georgia lost 42 to 24 in their last three games. 2020 in Florida, 2020 in Alabama, it was the exact same score, 42 to 20, 42 to 24. And then when we lost to uh, Bama last year, it was 42 to 24. 41-24 in the SEC title game. <clears throat> so, if I see that we're if I see we're losing 31-14, and we might be heading in that direction. Stetson Bennett's not a quarterback that can rally, and uh, we've seen that because every game where he's had to rally from behind, he's 0-3, and that's his only three losses. So I've yet to see Stetson Bennett have a come from behind win and that's alarming i mean it is uh you, you, you want a quarterback you want to have a guy that you know that you can trust and rely on to kind of come back if things get kind of hairy hendon hooker's a quarterback that can do that hendon hooker has the hendon hooker has the talent to do it stetson don't and that's just what it is it's unfortunate however carson beck on the bench has the talent to do it so Carson Beck's got the talent. In case something goes wild, I expect Kirby to make a move. Um, I know Kirby don't like moving around, moving the quarterbacks around. I understand that. But if things get wild, you, 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 if like we're down twenty-one to three or something, that's when I, that's that's when you make the change of quarterback because you, you keep Stetson in the game. If, it's, if especially if he gets in like that kind of situation, and Stetson's still in. Georgia's going to lose the game. That's just what it is. We're not coming back to win the game. And I would love to be proven wrong. Please prove me wrong. But at the end of the day, 
it is what it is. Stetson is what he is. <clears throat> he cannot have any turnovers. Um, can't have turnovers, can't get them extra drives. Also, make Tennessee earn these touchdowns. Tennessee's going to score. I, they're going to score. Make them earn them. Make them have five, six, seven-minute drives. You know, eight-minute drives. Make Tennessee earn these points. Do not give up 60-yard uh, passes. Don't give up 50-yard passes. Do not give up these two-minute drives to Tennessee. Please be. Please let them earn it. If, if Tennessee wins the game, they better earn it. Go dogs, Georgia wins 38-31. Go dogs.